probably just a quick video today because I'm taking a look at this device. It's from Ikea. It was suggested to me by a viewer called Chris who saw this while he was shopping in the store. He thought I might be interested because it's a sound to light music visualizer. Plays various different patterns on the display on the front. Notice it's designed by Teenage Engineering and this cost me 35 pound plus delivery. Let's just get it out and see what we can do with it. Now looking through these instructions, it appears the device has a built-in microphone. The audio comes from elsewhere. You don't have to plug it directly into the cube. And there are a total of seven different animations that you can cycle through. And there's a lot of emphasis placed on attaching these together so you can have a, a row of them. And I don't think they communicate with each other because looking at it, we've just got the main power lead here and then this one to daisy chain them. And it will just go from the out on the top into the input on the next. It says at the bottom here, you can chain a maximum of six of these units together. Now at 35 pounds a piece, that of course adds up quite a bit. So let's see what one looks like on its own before we commit to buying any more. Right, let's plug this one in and see what it does. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, that's responded already. So on the back here, we've got a power button. Let's just see how that works. Is it a momentary push switch? Yes, it is. So let's play some music. Now, I think we can agree that this is not the most exciting mode to start off in, but I'm going to cycle through the various different ones. We'll see what those do. I'm sure some of them will get a little bit more flashy than this. So if you're prone to photosensitive epilepsy, I would suggest you stop watching this video now. <laughs> Okay, so you saw all the different modes there. I don't know what you think, but I'm pretty disappointed. I've gone back around to this one just to give you a better demonstration of what I'm talking about here. Well, first off, of course, it's monochrome, which I mean, I could live with. That's not such a big deal. It's just the fact that it's all preset. These are preset frames. It's like going through a flip book or an animated GIF frame by frame. And it's the noise that's just moving it in between the different frames. So everything has been pre-programmed. It's not really responding to the audio other than just using it as a cue to play through an animation. So rather than this mode being any kind of representation of a real audio waveform, it's just a little animation that's playing back over and over. That's pretty much all it does. Yeah, uh, it's bright, I'll give it that, but um, yeah, I'm not impressed by this at all. I think it's rubbish. Now, this range of IKEA products have been available in other countries for quite some time now, and I don't know if there's any kind of modding community built up around them. It's not really my scene, but there are people who might be interested in finding out what's inside this. I mean, it might be an efficient way of getting hold of a case a 16 by 16 panel of addressable white LEDs and a power transformer. So let me open it up and I'll show you what's in here. The only reason I mentioned that is because I've noticed they are sold out in a lot of places and I can't imagine they're selling based on their own merits because it is really a quite a, an inspiring piece of equipment. Okay, so I've taken the four screws out and the back comes off. Down at the front there we've got another four screws, so I'll just take those out. And it looks like this whole section here slides in and then it's got some glue on the top. I've loosened the glue, but I'm having trouble getting it to move. Right, hold on, there's these little bits here that are coming out. There we go. Now each of these corners has a couple of metal bolts in. That's so that when you attach them all together, they've got something firm to hold on to. 
So I'm just getting all those out. Ah, there we go. Well, there's a couple of retaining bits in here if I just pull those out. Right, well this is in the way now. I can't get the panel through there. It won't go diagonally unfortunately. And all the wires are soldered on here. Okay, so there's our LED panel. That's the microphone on the front of it there. And just in case there's anyone out there that's interested in the fine details of this board, well, I've taken some close-up shots. If you press pause now, that's the main controller board, so you can have a look around that. And also I've taken some macro shots of the two chips that are on that board as well. Now here's the lens from the front, and it made it look like it was full of round LEDs, but of course when you look at them, they're these oblong shapes. Let's get inside the back here. Now I suspect all I'm going to find in here is the power transformer. That's if I can get into it. Yeah, there we go. Off the shelf power supply. Okay, so the power comes in at this point here and exits there on the top. And there's just a little connector joining those two things together. It looks like it could even be unplugged. There we go. Right, well that's what remains of the case now the innards have been removed and you can see there are quite a lot of components in here and the construction was really quite solid. It took quite a bit of cutting to get some of these things out. So you can see it's a destructive process removing these internals. However, here's what you get once all that casing has been removed and these components really aren't of a poor quality. What really lets it down are these animations. They're so limited as to be uninteresting and that arrow being off center is rather annoying. They could have done with a double line down the middle. But uh, yeah, I can't recommend this at all. And I wouldn't recommend it as a way to get hold of these components. I'm sure if you went on to any electronics components store, you'd be able to assemble these things together cheaper than you would buying this whole thing from Ikea. Uh, so yeah, there's no real merits to this one. It's just such a, such a missed opportunity, I think. Hopefully they'll try again in the future and just put something a little bit more interesting on that controller card. But anyway, that's it for the moment. As always, thanks for watching.